In this video, we will explore how to create a pixel art effect in Unity by creating a custom shader slash post processing effect. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. Here I have my starter project. This is a, a creator's kit, one of the projects that Unity provides for us. Uh, the link will be in the description and it is using the universal render pipeline. To create our effect, we are going to first need to create a custom shader that will pixelate an image that it receives. Next, to apply our custom shader to the whole image from the camera, we will need to have a custom URP render feature that we are going to create. And lastly, we are going to apply our custom feature, so to apply our custom post processing effect to pixelate the image from our camera. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we will need to have a custom shader, so let's right click in the projects tab, create, and we are going to select shader graph because we are going to use that URP, and I will select the sprite only shader graph since we are going to basically post process the whole image outputted from the camera. I will call it pixel effect shader graph. And let's open it up, okay? Now, first of all, we need to create a texture. So let's use the blackboard and let's select plus icon and let's add a texture 2D and I'm going to call it main hex. And if you select it in the graph inspector, you should see that the reference name is underscore main text. This is important because in the render pipeline to apply image effect, so to create a custom post processing effect, we need to use bleed method to modify the texture that we want to output to the screen. To learn more about shaders in Unity, be sure to check out Unity's shader bible by Jet Ellie. the link will be in the description. If we take a look at the documentation for this method, we are going to find that this underscore main text is a property used by this method to assign our texture. All this means for our shader is that if we want to grab the camera image using a custom post processing effect, we need to have a property of type texture 2D with the reference name underscore main text. Now, of course, if we drag our main texture to our shader and sample it, so drag this uh, to create a node and call sample texture 2D, we're going to see in the preview if we assigned our main text some texture, okay, that this is not pixelated. Now, to achieve a pixelated effect, we are going to modify the UV value. So let's first create a UV node, which will give us the UV coordinates. We can drag the output here and let's type posterize. And we are going to input here as the input the values from the UV node. And now we are going to see the output as pixelated values. So instead of having a continuous space of UV values, we are going to have those uh, pixel-like values here. So the image looks pixelated. If we pass it to our UV node, we are going to see that this image is as well pixelated. And it all depends on those steps. So we're going to add to our graph a new property of type float, let's call it pixel rate. And we are going to select it, make sure that in the uh, graph inspector we are going to set the mode to be integer, and we are going to set the default value to be for example 10. And now if we drag this and assign it to our steps input for the posterize node, you should see that this image changes for our sample texture, so we can set the a pixel rate to something like 200 we can see the whole texture or to 20 we can see that it becomes more and more pixelated and we can assign basically the output of the texture as the color of our uh, fragment uh, shader make sure that you save this asset and let's go back to unity because we need to create a material from this shader so let's just uh, right click on this pixel effect shader graph create and we are going to select material to quickly create a material out of it. Now the second step we can close the shader graph is to create a uh, render feature to apply our material over the image rendered by the camera. So to basically create a new post processing effect. What we need to do is right click in the projects tab create and we are going to select rendering and we should have URP render feature. Let's select it and a new script uh, for our custom pass feature will be created, I will change the name of this to be full screen render pass feature and I'm going to open this script up. Great! Now if you are enjoying this tutorial so far, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it would really help me a lot. Thank you!
Now, as you can see, it contains a lot of boilerplate code. At the top, we have defined full screen render pass feature, but the class that will do the work will be this inner class custom render pass, which inherits from scriptable render pass. And it contains three methods. First one is on camera setup, which allows us to prepare our properties that we are going to apply in this execute method. And then we need to clean up the memory in the on camera cleanup because what we are going to have in this custom render pass will be run every frame. Now, if we go down, we are going to see that this continues our custom render feature, so the outer class, and it creates our custom render pass in the create method. And in the add render passes, it will add it to our render so that it will be invoked when Unity renders our scene. Let's start the top of this script. This full screen render pass feature class will be shown in the inspector. And since we want to assign our custom pixel effect material, we are going to need a, a reference field that we are going to be able to expose in the inspector. Now, because we need to have a reference for this inside our custom render pass in our class, we need to create a property of type material here as well. So we're going to basically duplicate the same code and paste it here. Now, we are going to need to assign it somehow. And the best way to do this is through a constructor. So we are going to create constructor by using snippet C tor. If you are using Visual Studio, just press tab twice to create it. If not, just type it. And this constructor will inherit from the base constructor since we are inheriting from the scriptable render pass. So it's best to inherit the base constructor. We are going to take here a material, material, and we're going to uh, assign here this dot material equals the material that we are going to pass here. Okay, great. Now at the bottom, we should have a red squig line uh, in the create method because we need to pass here the material. So let's type this dot material. So we are going to pass this material that we assign in the inspector for our full screen render pass feature. Okay, so with this all done, we also need to have uh, two uh, RT handlers, so the reference is to our texture. So in this custom render pass, we are going to underneath the material create RT handle, temp texture and source texture. The RT handle temp texture will be a temporary texture that we create to post process the image. And the source texture will be pointing to the camera image, to the rendered texture that the camera would display if we have no post processing applied for our pixel effect. We do not want to modify it directly, but we need to copy it, modify this in the temp texture and then apply our temp texture to our camera. Now inside our on camera setup, what we want to do is have the, those two textures preset to, some, uh, to contain some data. So the source texture is the reference to our camera texture. So we are going to assign it to the rendering data, which we receive here in this on camera setup dot camera data dot render dot camera color target handle now the temp texture we need to allocate some memory to it so we are, we are going to call rt handles dot alloc and we are going to create a new render target identifier with a specific name i have named it underscore temp texture now we are going to create a custom property in a shader to be able to allocate our texture and this is why we need this identifier so that we can use this name as the parameter of this shader that we are going to use i'm not quite sure if this is the best way to allocate memory for the texture but basically we need to do this this way and we are going to give this rent art handle a name called the same as our uh, target identifier underscore temp texture this is important because we need to access it in the second step so in our execute method so basically we have allocated the texture data here in the on camera setup. We're going to clean it soon, but for now we need to execute our custom logic to apply our pixel effect to our texture. So let me paste the code here. So first of all, to do anything, any operation on the textures, we need to have a command buffer, which allows us to basically copy and modify those textures. So to access it, we need to have a command buffer, command buffer equals command buffer pull get, and we are going to get a new command buffer 
we are going to give it a custom name so that if we have an error in our rendering process we can debug it using unity debugger for our rendering so this is the name that we'll show in the debugger if we have this we can access the render texture descriptor target descriptor equals rendering data camera data camera target descriptor we need this because it contains all the data about the size and uh, the memory required for the for creation of our temp texture so this descriptor will have all this data we are going to set the target descriptor dot depth buffer bits to be zero for the efficiency of the memory use this is only the only reason why we need to set this and next we are going to use our command buffer to get the temporary rt so the te temporary render texture and we need to pass here the id of a property for this texture so we have created this te temp texture with the name underscore temp texture using this render target identifier to get the reference to this name so the id of the shader property for the specific name we are going to use in this get temporary rt shader that property to id and we are going to give this temp texture dot name so the name is specified here in the on camera setup and if we have this we can basically create the shader property assigned to this property the parameters from our target descriptor and we need to pass the filter mode b linear uh, because this is required parameter here now again i have mentioned that we do not want to modify directly our uh, camera texture so we are going to use this bleed method and the command buffer to copy the data from our source texture but we are going to apply our material which is our pixel effect material so that we modify the stamp texture in the process of copying it and basically now we need to do the reverse process so we use this bleed method again the command buffer and we want to apply the temp texture now to the camera so to the source texture that we are going to display on the screen now this might seem a bit strange but basically this is all done because we want to optimize the memory usage during this phase the next step is to call our context so the uh, scriptable render context and we want to execute the command buffer so all the data that we have assigned to this command buffer will now be executed by our scriptable render pipeline and of course we need to clean up the memory so first of all we need to call command buffer pull release our command buffer after its job is done now we have applied our pixel shader effect assigned to this material onto our camera image but now again we need to clean up the memory and we had this uh, reference to our temp texture here source texture is the reference to the camera image so we do not have to clean it but the temp texture is something that we have allocated memory to so we need to slide down to this on camera cleanup and we need to call our temp texture and i think we have release method here to release the memory from it so this is the reason why we are using this rt candle type okay so with all this done we have applied our material to our image we have applied it back to our camera one more thing that we want to change is at the bottom in this create method we are creating our pixelated effect after rendering opaque objects since this configuration allows us to uh, specify when we want to run our custom render feature we want to call it just before uh, the post processing otherwise if we call it after post processing there will be some issue with the size and depth of our texture so that's why we want to do this beforehand let's save this and this is basically it how we can create a custom post processing effect in urp let's save the script let's go back to unity get okay, right now make sure that you have universal render pipeline set up if you do not let make sure that you right click create a new rendering urp asset with the renderer you will have two assets created for you in the project settings you need to make sure that the scriptable render pipeline settings are selected as one of those assets that you have uh, created and if you select the here this uh, field you'll be pointed to this asset in your project tab. let's select it and in the inspector you can select your render from the list you want to select the render and again select in the project tab the asset that was highlighted and that's how we can get to the button which allows us to add custom render features to our pipeline so we want to select this 
and we are going to find out that we can select full screen render pass feature here so this is what we have created so this is our custom boost processing uh, render feature so that we can uh, modify our image as we like assigning whatever material that we want this is just a full screen boost processing effect that will use this shader on this material and apply it to the image from the camera of course we want to assign as the material our material that we have created so i will select my shader graph underscore pixel effect shader graph if i do that you will immediately see that the camera view as well as the scene view is modified and everything looks very pixelated so let's select our material and here we can modify this pixel rate i will set it to be 200 and as you can see now everything is pixelated but we can still distinguish different objects of course you can play around with it and set it and adjust it for your own project i have tried i think 250 it looked good okay now if you press play you can see that everything is pixelated you can zoom in zoom out and the effect persists so this might be a stylized choice for your game that you want to apply of course to disable it simply select your forward renderer and uncheck this to see the uh, sharp graphics uh, that were originally applied to this project and you can re-enable it to apply this pixel effect okay great thanks a lot for watching i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial if you did leave a comment click that thanks button to help me out through a donation i would really appreciate it thanks a lot for watching take care